Okay, today we're going to learn how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is y equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now remember you get your a, b, and c's from the standard form. The number multiplied times x squared is always a. The number multiplied by x is b. And the number that doesn't have an x term is C for your constant. So we're going to look at these. Now I've color coded these. Again, I put this here as your quadratic formula so you could see that. All right. And what we want to do is we want to take a quadratic equation, y equals 3x squared plus 5x plus 2, and put it in the quadratic formula. And I've color coded it. Notice b is always the term in front of the x term, so my b term is 5 plus or minus b squared, which would be, again, 5 squared, minus 4 times a, which would be 3, times c, which would be 2, all over 2 times a, which again would be 3. And you want to put that into your calculator. Be sure your calculator is in mode 2, so you can use it. So I would press negative 5 plus square root. 5 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. Hit the over button and down over 2 times 3 and hit equals. And that's going to tell me that one of my values, one of my solutions is negative 2 thirds. So I know x1 equals negative 2 thirds. And the easiest way to find your other solution is to hit the back arrow and change the plus sign in front of your x squared term to be a minus. So you would hit the delete button for plus and then you would hit the minus button and hit equals again and that's going to tell you x2 equals negative 1. So my solutions are negative 2 thirds and negative 1. Here's another example. Again I want to use the quadratic formula negative b plus or minus b squared or square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a and again I've color coded it so the b term is 4 or actually negative 4 because of the minus sign that's going to give me negative 4 squared and it's going to help if you put that in parentheses and minus 4 times a which is 2 put that in parentheses times c which is 1, put that in parentheses, all over 2 times a, and a is 2. So again, you're going to put that in your calculator. Make sure you're in mode 2. So you hit your fraction button. So I'm going to hit negative parentheses, negative 4, close your parentheses, plus square root, put parentheses, negative 4, close your parentheses squared, minus 4 times 2 times 1 hit your over button down and then hit 2 times 2 in your denominator <coughs> that's going to tell me my answer is x1 is 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2 and the easiest way to find your other solution would be to hit your back arrow and change the plus sign in front of the square root to be minus so we can get the other answer and that's going to tell me that x2 is going to be equal to 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2 so here are my two solutions using the quadratic formula the only difference on that one is to make sure you use negative 4 for the b term Here's another example using the quadratic formula. y equals b, negative b squared plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So in this case, my b term is the negative 3 because of the minus sign in front of the 3. So again, I put it in the square root. Again, put it inside parentheses times 4a. a is 1. And b is equal to negative 5 because of the uh, negative sign over 2 times a, which is 1. Again, make sure you're in mode 2. So you're going to hit negative parentheses, 
negative 3, close your parentheses, plus square root, parentheses, negative 3, close your parentheses squared, minus 4 times 1 times negative 5, hit your over button, down, over 2 times 1. So when you hit your equal button, it's going to tell you that your answer is x equals 3 plus the square root of 29 all over 2. And the easiest way to fix that is to hit your back button and change your um, minus sign in front of the parentheses to be plus, or plus sign in front of the parentheses to be minus, and hit equals. And that's going to give me my second solution is 3 minus the square root of 29 over 2. So let's go to the next one. Again, they want us to use the quadratic formula to solve this. y equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now this one's a little bit different because this isn't in standard form because it's not equal to y or equal to 0. So what I need to do is I need to rewrite this. I need to subtract 3x on both sides and add 1 on both sides. So that's going to give me 5x squared and negative 3x and positive 1 equals 0. So when I put my values in, my b is going to be negative 3. So I put that in for b and b squared. Again, make sure you put that in parentheses. a is 5 and c is 1. So put the 5 down on the bottom. So again, make sure you're in mode 2. So I'm going to say negative parentheses, negative 3, plus square root. Again, parentheses, negative 3, close your parentheses squared, minus 4 times 5 times 1. Hit your over button, go down, and 2 times 5 in your denominator. And this one's going to give you, my first solution is 3 over 10 plus the square root of 11 over 10i. So that tells me that my solution is going to be imaginary. So to find my second solution, I hit the back arrow and I change the plus sign in front of the square root to be minus so I can subtract now and hit equals. And my second solution, x2 equals 3 over 10 minus the square root of 11 over 10i. So that tells me my solutions are imaginary, so we know they don't have any x-intercepts. Okay, here's another one. Again, my 6 is not with my x squared, so let's subtract 6 from both sides. So my equation in standard form is going to be 3x squared plus 4x minus 6. So we know that b is 4. So let's put it in for b in the quadratic formula. a is 3 and c is negative 6. All over 2 times a, which a is 3. Again, we want to make sure we're in mode 2, so if we have an imaginary number, it'll work. So negative 4 plus square root 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 6. Hit your over button and go down. 2 times 3. It's going to give me my first solution, x1 is negative 2 plus the square root of 22 all over 3. And then again, the easiest way to get your answer for the second solution is to hit your back arrow so you don't have to push all those buttons again. Delete your plus sign in front of the square root and hit minus. And that's going to give me my second solution, x2, which is negative 2 minus the square root of 22 all over 3. Here's another example. Again, I need to get move the 4 over. So when I move it, it's going to become negative. So my quadratic in standard form is 3x squared plus 6x minus 4. So my b term is 6. So I'll put it in both spaces for b. My a term is 3. And my c term is negative 4. 
all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 3. So put it in the calculator. Again, make sure you're in mode 2. So I would have negative 6 plus square root, 6 squared, minus 4, times 3, times negative 4. Get your over button down, and 2 times 3 in my denominator, which is going to give me my first solution, x1, which is negative 3 plus the square root of 21 over 3. And then to get my other answer, I'm going to hit the back arrow and delete out the plus sign in front of the square root sign and change it to a minus sign. So we're giving my second solution is negative 3 minus the square root of 21 over 3. And last example before you get to start, here we've got uh, an equation. I didn't uh, color code them. We need to move the negative 4x over. Let's put it first. So that becomes positive 4x squared. Keep my 5x the same. And I need to move my negative 2 onto the left side, so that becomes negative 2. So that would give me b is 5, so put it in the b positions. a is 4, and c is negative 2. So all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 4. So put it in the calculator. Again, make sure you're in mode 2. So that gives me negative 5 plus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 2. Hit your over button and down over 2 times 4. Hit equals. And that's going to tell me my first solution is negative 5 plus the square root of 57 all over 8. And if I change it and go back, hit my back arrow to change the plus sign in front of the square root to be minus to get my second solution, hit equals. That tells me my second solution is negative 5 minus the square root of 57 all over 8. Good luck, and y'all work on these. It might help if you use uh, some of the markers to color code A, B, and C to help you out. And we'll see how you're doing tomorrow when I get back.